beach today for no sure. It's so hot out. It is so hot. Out. It's actually already 90 at the AC <laughs> airport, which is, yeah. On, yeah. So make sure sunblock is ready to go is right. the bottom line yeah. here and also stay hydrated. And, you know, yeah. in the city, we mentioned this earlier in the show, I think you're easily going to hit the 90s here today. Mm -hmm. It's not too humid everywhere okay. anyway, so that's, that's at good. least yeah. exactly. So that makes it feel a heck of a lot more comfortable for us. But regardless, we're still going to find the potential for some wet weather. We had talked about that earlier in the show as well as into the 4th of July itself, and that'll come in the form of very scattered showers or storms from that frontal boundary we mentioned. It's really tough to pick it out on the radar right now, uh, let alone the satellite, but you'll notice if you look closely across north central PA, that little pocket of clouds, that's part of the front we're talking about. That's dropping in from the north. It will drop to our south later tonight, but then get kind of hung up across the mid-Atlantic, so that's why we still have the potential for shower or a thunderstorm in our forecast tomorrow. I don't think you're talking about widespread anything out of this, but let's take a look at future weather because I always like to use this as a guide, especially when you're this close to the event, because it tends to be a really good guide as to the timing, not necessarily placement for everyone, but it'll give you an idea. Okay, so even just in the next two hours, things may begin to ignite across the Poconos. If you're up at the lake, perhaps watching us just for the early afternoon, watch for a shower or a thunderstorm there. There could be a locally heavy thunderstorm that ignites, especially north of the city, but notice even Philly could get in on a quick shower at some point. 5, 6 o'clock this evening. It should bypass the southern Jersey coastline, so I think you'll be okay at the actual shoreline. But that said, again, you'll want to keep your ears perked for thunder when this fire is up. Then into tomorrow, we should be pretty quiet for the first part of the day. But toward the afternoon, notice again, it's all super scattered, but something may begin to pop on the radar into the afternoon or toward evening. Now, by the time the fireworks are going off across much of the region, we should really just see some lingering clouds out there. It shouldn't affect the displays all that much, but Again, with that frontal boundary so close by, we've got to allow for a shower or a storm. Not enough that you'd have to worry about canceling plans. So let's look at these two points and talk about them. Remember, 65 is about the benchmark for where it starts to feel kind of steamy. So you have a little bit of a variety pack going on. It actually still feels, granted, warm, but comfortable in the city of Philadelphia. Certainly a lot steamier in a Wildwood where you're at 69 on that dew point temperature. So it's, again, starting to feel kind of steamy just depending on location. But all in all, it's a nice afternoon. And certainly outside Palmyra Cove Nature Park, this is going to be an awesome view for us as uh, weather geeks to watch all the fireworks go off here over the Delaware River in the next night or two. Beach Patrol headquarters certainly starting to see some activity and picking up here. At least this is one of the beaches that's still open and a lot of people certainly taking advantage of that. As we meanwhile take you for the rest of the afternoon here at the shore, sunny and hot. You might crack 90 at the shore and I am getting the wraps. So I want to just jump you right ahead here uh, to the seven day forecast. Take a look. Today's the hottest for sure, but by the week's end, we talked about more of an unsettled pattern. A bigger, more potent system comes along, brings in some more widespread showers and storms by Thursday and especially Friday. All right, Katie, thank you. So yeah. we'll enjoy what we got now. Exactly. All righty. <laughs> well,